In today's quick tip, I'm showing you how to use this component called project onto a BREP. So we can start maybe creating a grid. So let's go to vector grid and let's create a 10 by 10 by 10 grid. So actually we can just plug it in to all of those. And let's create some circles here at those points. So that's what a pattern of uh, radius of 10, extent size 10, extent y, extent x, and extent y. This is what it'll look like. And so what I want to do is just go in here in Rhino and type in plane. And then let's go in here, something like this. Think of a cage, edit, bounding box, world, and then the defaults. I'm just going to pick these down here and just move them up like this and now I'm gonna bring in a BREP so double click there go to BREP select that right click here set one BREP and now we can plug in the BREP plug in the curves you want to project and it's gonna default to 0 0 1 which means it's gonna go in the vertical direction and you can mess around with uh, the direction, but for now, this is just what I wanted to show you. Uh, basically, how quick you can uh, project, you know, a pattern onto any kind of surface. And then we can come here and we can actually adjust the, the pattern size. Uh, you know, depending on the parameters that we want to have at the end. And so I just wanted to give you an idea of how to use this uh, pr uh, project curve onto BREP so uh, you could just you know increase your knowledge on the different components so you can create some cool designs uh, and hopefully you enjoyed it thank you for watching see you next time